my god, you like totally uh, set up for us and everything. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> so how are you, first and foremost? I am fantastic. I'm sitting in the backyard on this beautiful day in Winnipeg, drinking my Marley's Mellow Mood. Good shit. My next boner mug. Well, first of all, I didn't die. So it has to be a third season. I mean, it's just, it's got to happen. We, like, you, okay, that's right. You took someone's heart. That's right. Go enjoy exploring each other's bodies. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was like in, towards the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, all right, so the show, the sh our little web series, we're calling it The Daily Smoke. Just, that's our thing. <laughs> so I guess I'll start off with um, how talented you are. I've seen, I mean, we've been Facebook buddies. We haven't really communicated, but I've seen, like, you were, uh, what, that, com that Canadian idol? Uh, it's, I just, I'm, I don't know. I just do everything. I kind of told myself in that my uh, 27th year on Earth, I would just, give everything a shot even if i didn't think it, that was good enough so you know from acting to entering and singing contests to making stupid youtube videos and just just trying it all kind of you know no, you're, very, you're very talented i mean singing and uh you play guitar and sing as i, I recall know, yeah. um so uh, big question for you because you said to me that you have been working with todd like the entire time before you were actually on the show um i would I, the entire time, I mean, I've been there since season one. Because, yeah. I mean, they filmed the pilot before we did season one, obviously, and then the original movie. But uh, uh, I've luckily been there since day one of season one of Todd. Yeah. So, I mean, what did you do? Were you just, like, a background character for the most part? Um, so, my job, uh, I'm called a stand-in. Yeah. Um, I forget how Wikipedia explained it. But, um, basically, it'll show us the scene. Um, and then I have to recreate it for the, uh, camera and the lighting guys so that the actors can go off, rehearse their lines, get their hair and makeup done, uh, eat off the craft service table. Um, <laughs> I just, uh, I have to recreate it all so that the actors aren't standing there for two hours to set it all up. So sometimes it'll be, uh, minimal stunts, um, all the love scenes I had to recreate in front of all the camera guys, you know, me and my uh, co-worker, Crystal Snow. So it was, uh, it was entertaining to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how did that come about with your uh, part in that episode? I'm not going to get all nerdy and say like season number episode. All so. uh, well, actually, how it originally happened is I had auditioned for the part of Nikki. Um, which was fantastic and it was super fun. Um, I didn't get the part, which I'm totally cool with because Carmen came in and she killed it. If by make out you mean put your bone in my ozone. I mean, we all knew each other. We were all a big family, especially by the second season. And uh, it's a little intimidating um, being thrown into all of us, you know, all, you know, all the different characters. But she, she just blended right in and she did super amazing and um i didn't die with the character i got so <laughs> uh, what do you think about as uh your first time like having like the spotlight on you uh your position that you were in in the beginning eliza um i had a really great director named warren p Sonoda. um he obviously was the um the genius behind the party episode and the um the video game episode. Uh, it was it was really great working with him, and I thought it would be super easy because I knew everybody. But it was more nerve wracking because I knew everybody, and I wanted to make sure I did Craig and you know everybody proud. So you know they like put me in their TV show. I wanted to do a good job, so I hope I did a good job. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'll do even better in season three. Let's hope. <laughs> um. So, I mean, what's the word on your end from what, I mean, have you heard anything about a season three if there were to be one? Uh, I can just say that uh, they have not stopped working. They have not stopped trying. Um, even if they're not updating their Facebook as much, it doesn't mean that they're not doing anything at all. I, I always bug, uh, I always bug Andrew Rosen every time I see him on Facebook. He pops up and I'm like, so when are we uh, getting back to work? You know, it's getting kind of annoying now because I do it at least, you know, once a month. <laughs> but um, 
they're honestly, they're trying so hard. I mean, this is their baby. Like, everybody. The show means so much to everybody. The actors. Like, you know, everybody behind the scenes. You can't... Uh, all the other movie sets I've worked on in Winnipeg, every day there's a Todd shirt. At least somebody yeah. is wearing their crew nice. shirt. And it's fantastic just to see the support that the Winnipeg crew has here, too. But, uh, no, I haven't heard any details um, I was bugging them about doing a feature film, which would be super sweet. That'd and then they awesome. said, well, do you have money to give us for a feature film? And yeah. I said, no, I'm kind of unemployed at the moment. <laughs> so <laughs> It would be awesome. I mean, if they could at least close it out with a film in some way or in some way have like a uh, like two or three part episode on TV just to kill it off at least. Yeah. And even for us to hear um, like on the set of Todd, because... We had no inclination whatsoever that, that, you know, the second season could possibly be the second season. How could you end such a killer show, man? Like, you know, the way that they ended it and everything, like, we had no idea. So it would have been kind of nice knowing that it was the end so we could say our goodbyes yeah. and, you know, just wrap it up kind of personally. But maybe that didn't happen because there is no end. It's going to... And keep going. Let's, I, let's <laughs> hope. I mean, it's. Um, you guys. I mean, on my end, on my end, I mean, I, of course, being in the states, we were behind in the season. You know what I mean? Uh, second season already finished for you guys, and you know it was like halfway in the states. So of course, I had to download to keep up with everybody. And so for me, being as into it as I was, it was like tr tragic. I was just like, what? Like, why? Like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, ch like, cheap, like, uh, graphics and stuff with the gorometry that, you know, goes on throughout the show. Like, it's actually, like, a lot of detail, and you can tell there's a lot of hard work put into it. So, I have a question for you, which is around on you now. So, what is it about the show that makes you so crazy about it? Like, what, I, I'm just so interested in everybody's um, opinion. Well, personally, um... When I, fir I, I like, when I first saw the show, you know, I gave it a try, and, you know, it looked like one of those weak little Canadian shows of, like, a, a loser teen, you know what I mean? So I was, I was getting ready to, like, delete everything I downloaded, and then I was like, I'll give it a try, and then, like, once, you know, Curtis said, you know, I, I hear he's got, you know, the, the cock of a cock and a half or something like that, that's when it kept me going, and, um, yeah. so, I mean, from there... I think uh, it was just the, the theme that it was like, it had a metal, like, stoner theme, and you don't see that. No one really wants to advertise that type of personality, as well as um, go into the Satan story, you know what I mean? And it was just perfect. Like, it's, uh, you know, for people who've seen, um, what's that one? No, I can't even, I'm drawing a blank. For any, like, metalhead that's seen any, like, metal opera or anything, you know what I mean? This is, like, the pinnacle, I think of our time reaching a show that, you know, in every way there's, like, all these different stories of monsters and just, like, gruesome things happening to people and also, you know, in a funny way tackling, like, normal subjects today. Like, it was just uh, completely entertaining in each way. And I think all the characters, uh, uh, as well, all the actors and their characters, just the chemistry was just fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really funny because, I don't know, I, I kind of believe in fate. And I, like, I would have, even if I didn't get to work on this movie or, or be in this show, you know, I, it would still be my favorite. Like, oh, yeah. it's just amazing that, you know, little old Winnipeg got this amazing show that came here and I happened to be able to work on it and meet such amazing people. And then, you know, they trusted me enough to, to give me a part and rip some hearts out. So. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. <laughs> Um, I, I just, I'm, I'm as big of a fan. I mean, I, I mounted my poster. It was hanging over my mantle forever, and <laughs> you know, my prize. So, do you stay, do you stay in touch with generally everybody, or? Um, you know, it's um, not really. Um, I, not that I wouldn't like to, yeah. but uh, all those, um, you know, like. Bill and, and Alex, I mean, they're, they're real actors. They're out there doing their thing, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I do try to keep in contact with Chris Levins once in a while, because he's the most amazing man in the entire world. I'd love to talk um, to him. He's such a fantastic person, and one of my favorite actors, you know, now that I've gotten a chance to see him 
especially you know when he's not on camera he's just so amazing to watch like he's just so funny off camera it, he's yeah he's amazing i just i have no words I got news for you i'm from the wrong side of the they, the casting in this show is unbelievable like the metal dudes come on go smoke a dupe and then get laid and then smoke another dupe like, could you have found as three better Perfect. guys to yeah, play I that know, part? I know. Like, the me watching the rehearsal of the Metal Dude Wop was probably one of the highlights of my entire life. Metal Dude, Metal Dude, Metal Dude Wop. Because we had no idea what to expect with Metal Dudes. You never do. Uh, and we were watching the, the rehearsal in the parking lot, and as soon as it, do it was done, if all 55 of us erupted in laughter like the neighborhood probably was wondering what was going on because it was it was one of the best days ever just to have be able to watch it over and over again so oh yeah that was definitely one of the funniest things i had ever seen you didn't, <laughs> no one no one expected that at all like, no for sure no everybody yeah just everybody like the chemistry between everybody even if they weren't in every episode just everybody worked really well together and i think that's what also made the show just like so great but um so wait now let me let me get a tiny bit personal with you is that okay tiny bit a little bit she froze uh oh are we good this. oh Let's you're good this. okay you froze on me i didn't know all right now just i'm just curious because you know i try and <laughs> i try and get answers out of a lot of them um alex house okay um you guys never had any connections off Todd? <laughs> no, I oh. mean, Alex and I were really good friends. Um, he's just super fun and uh, just really super easy to get along with. He's a really talented actor, just super natural oh, yeah. at it. Like, just, yeah, just, it was really great getting to know everybody, I mean. But, uh, nope, nah, nah, no, no, uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I, you're hesitant right there. I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> no, so, so there's. I want to say give me dirt, but I don't want to be dirty about it. So, like, is there anything you could tell the fans that we wouldn't know? Like, just about. I don't know. Either the actors or just. Uh, I don't know. A funny story offset or something like that. Um, uh, Melanie's actually the the most badass out of all four of them. Is that one of your lady bits? Oh boy. You would never guess, would you? Yeah, she's super badass. I know she's I know she's <laughs> got many, many talents, but what do you mean by that? Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't have any dirt, honestly. Uh, all four of them super fantastic. Like just just all different personalities and they just mesh so well together. Like I've gotten yeah, there's there's nothing. Like they're just such fantastic people. Like I said, the casting and the the relationships with everybody it was just amazing, you know. Especially when uh, when uh, Curtis and Hannah had their first kiss. Yeah. For us as a crew, it was like, wow, we can't wait for this moment <laughs> because we were, we're so in it when we're there, you know. We're so involved, and it, it felt like a real moment. Like they're gonna finally kiss. <laughs> yeah, it was. Anyway, no dirt, no none dirt. at all. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, um, all right. So, all right. I guess my my last bit of uh, questions are how how did it go down for you when you heard about the cancellation? Like, how was it for you? I found out through a text message from um, my my boss, my friend, um, and I honestly I didn't believe it. I had, did not believe it. Um, I'm still in disbelief. I mean, it's you know, it's it's been a while since we've all heard the news. Um, but of course, all our hopes are still up there, you know, fans and everyone here in Winnipeg is definitely hoping for a third season. We know they're going to come back here to film it because Winnipeg is amazing. No. Um, honestly, I have no words because that show meant so much to me that I can't even explain. Uh, just, yeah, just being part of it. And it's kind of like, um, well, rest of development. It was, I don't know, 
how you feel about it. But, you know, such an amazing show, but no one was watching it. It got canceled. And then, you know, how many years later now since they canceled it, are they doing a third season and doing a movie, you know? But the only thing with, you know, a show based on high school kids is... Yeah. There's only so long that they'll... Well, that's what I'm worried about. I'm like, yeah, the show's going to get picked up and they're all going to be, like, in different places in their lives and it's just not going to work, you know? So... Like, as a fan, that's that's why it's so tragic for me, because I believe, you know, at least, like, two, three more seasons to, you know, it's, it's it, to me, it's going to be discovered too late, and it's going to be epic to everybody, and it's just going to be too late. But also, if you think about it this way, I mean, would you rather a show, you know, there's shows out there right now that just are dragging on way too long, they lose their storyline, they lose the characters, and you kind of just get lost, and you're like, wow, I could have seen this end, you know, a season ago. They should have just left it at that. I mean, I'm definitely, definitely not saying that about Todd. But, you know, you got to kind of look at the bright side of everything, I guess. Yeah. I mean, um, your idea of, like, a, you know, maybe, like, a miniseries, just, like, a quick, like... Yeah try to sum it up maybe somehow like don't leave us hanging you know we want to know what happens with you know hannah c williams yeah really (laughs) really i mean yeah it was just like that that was like the perfect ending to the season like you know it was like the best cliffhanger so i mean honestly like i i had an interview with brody and like we were discussing like you know why another uh you know company wouldn't pick up the show you know what I mean? Like, why, you know, because, like, this would be perfect for, like, an MTV2 type situation, you know, okay. later at night. But then, of course, before I even, like, I, like, kind of put that on a message board and all the fans were like, but it would be censored and there's just no point in watching it if it's censored. Yeah, because I know, uh, I know that much music was airing it here in mm. Canada, but uh, I never really got a chance to uh, watch it on that station. Um, so I don't know if they had actually, I'm pretty sure that they had to bleep a lot of stuff out, but, um, he's still, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, someone has to pick up the show. (laughs) I know. It's like, everybody's really like telling me their issues with the show. If it were to get picked up with, by someone else and they're not concerned with the fact that just the show carrying on, you know what I mean? Like I figure as long as the show keeps going on like that's that's the whole purpose here i mean hopefully the fans when they see stuff like this they see you after the fact you know what i mean like this will motivate them to really you know i don't know do fan artwork inspire their friends to either do that or watch it or get more people into it i hope that's what this does that's like my whole purpose here so yeah oh no you that's you and and then uh, amanda doing that petition i mean that i just yeah it's, it's amazing. You guys are doing really great work, and uh, I'm glad that I could help and be a part of all of this. I mean, like I said, people aren't going to probably recognize me from my part, but behind the scenes, I've been there. <laughs> I've, done, I've done it all. You know, I was the brunette stand-in, so I'd be standing in for all the uh, Alex Todd uh, masturbation scenes, <laughs> and, uh, you know. <laughs> well, there you go. There's... There's a little bit of dirt we didn't know. Underneath the blanket, we can't see the blanket moving around. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh boy! But no, um, no. Hopefully, this will help get your face out there too, as well, because um, you know, you're definitely talented and very, very beautiful, of course. Oh, thank you. So, all right. Well, here's the part of the show where I'm gonna give Tyler the camera, and um, we're just gonna kind of leave you guessing as to what we're gonna do, just to get a great reaction out of you. Okay. All right. Well, I- Wait, what am I? What what am I doing again? I'm wa- I'm watching you guys do. So- I'm confused. Well, that's the whole point. I want you to be confused. Okay. Okay. I mean, just improv with me here. All right. Here he is. Take it away, Tyler. All right. So this is the part of the segment where, pretty much, I'm gonna toss some names of people that you worked with on the cast of Todd with okay. over the past two seasons, and in a one-word summary, I want you to tell me what you think about. Them. Okay. Right. Ready. First off, we're going to start with Crystal. What do you think about Crystal? Sorry, who? Crystal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. I think that's all good. I think everybody's just on a big uh, miscommunication, but let's try this again. What do you think about Craig? Craig. Uh, talented. Is it just one word? Cause that's, one word. That's one word. 
Roll through. All right, Andrew. Sweetheart. Norman. Nicest guy in the entire world. Sorry, that's not one word, but that's that's Norman. Loser. Brody. Ah, uh, Brody's my buddy. Winnipeg. Well. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry, Brody. Well, oh my God, we have to. Can you? Oh my God, this is all gonna air, isn't that? Because uh, Brody Sanderson yeah. is in the show, and he's from Winnipeg. So, but you're talking about Metal Dude Brody. Which Brody are you talking about? I think I think she. I think he's talking about Brody Sanderson. Yeah. Oh, okay, good, sweet. Because that's yeah. that's yeah, sweet. Just mixing stuff up. Alex. Alex. She licked their lips. I know something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is probably a good opportunity for us to make out and stuff. I swear to God, no, I met I met the love of my life on on uh, the first season of Todd. So, um, Alex, ah, just like I said to Tristan, Alex is just his own man. He's one man. He's yeah. I. <laughs> God. All right. What about Chris? Chris Levins. Amazing. My name's Scooter. I'm from the wrong side of the tracks. All right. Melanie? Beautiful. Man, yeah. is she beautiful. Did you get Maggie? Maggie? Maggie, talented. Did I ever see you talented for someone? Because Maggie's talented. I don't know. <laughs> what about Warren? Warren? Mm -hmm. Spitfire. <laughs> I have one more for you. Bill. Bill. He is something else in a good way. Bill's Bill's amazing. One word. Everybody's amazing to you. Bobby. I can't do this. The whole world is amazing to you. It's it's okay. You're one of many words, and that's that's a great version. All right, well, all right, well. So now you had the rundown. Now let's try and run through them all real quick and, and see if she says everybody's amazing or not. Let's see if we can actually get different words. All right, we're gonna try for some different words. One word only. He's gonna go fast as shit, <laughs> and I'm gonna go fast. So listen up, good. Warren. Spitfire. Craig. Talented. Andrew. Sweetheart. Norman. Asian. Asian. <laughs> Brody. My buddy. Bill. He's funny. Alex. He's fucking funny. Alex. Alex is um. God, that guy's so hard to explain. Hard. He's Hard's the word. It's penis and vagina time. Hard! Oh. Chris, Chris <laughs> Levins. Chris <Ow>. Levins. <laughs> Chris Moving Levins. on. Who? Chris Levins. Um, brilliant, actually. I changed that. Chris Levins is brilliant. And Melanie. Good, Maggie. Beautiful. Maggie. Talented. Um. What about Robin? What do you think about her? Uh, Robin's the most fucking amazing person in the entire world. Sorry, I swore. Uh, funny mouth. <laughs> that wasn't one word, Robin. Uh, Robin is radical. Radical, I like that. Yeah. Double threat. So, what was it like? It was over pretty fast, but I guess it was pretty awesome. I'm Tristan. I'm Tyler. I'm Robin, and, and you, you just, just got, got smoked. smoked. There we go. We got that. That was great. Thank you so much, Robin. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Have a great day. You, you too. too. See you later.